of freedom, his spirit was born. Sarah, they named him Sarah. Like the wind, like the wind that is free. Sarah, they named him Sarah. To be king of the bush, his destiny. In the secret mountain veins, through the mist and ancient trees. Runs the ghost like horse so proudly, silent as the breeze. Thara, they named him Thara. He's the son of the wind, strong and free. Thara, they named him Thara. And the king, <laughs> yes, the king. In the high country, the cycle of life is no different from elsewhere. Creatures survive by living off other creatures. It's how it is. It's part of life. The trick is not to get caught. That's how Mother Nature planned it. And that's how it's been for centuries. Everyone knew the routine until man came along and added a new element to high country life, the unexpected and the unknown. That's enough shooting or you'll scare all the game away. Hmm. It is dingoes we're after anyway. Hey, speaking of dingoes, look over here. Tracks, and quite a few of them. And look over here. Fur on this bush. Looks as though they've headed towards the creek. Oh, I hate the dingoes. Miserable foul wild dogs as far as I'm concerned. Yeah. But where will we be without them? As long as the government keeps paying the bounty for every dingo tail I bring in, I'll keep hunting them. Yeah. Stop running, whatever you do! <laughs> Mrs. Dingo! What's the rush? Oh, Harrow! Oh, it's just as well we bumped into you. It's an emergency. Yeah, well, uh, I'm certainly the right one to see in that case. Yes. Perhaps you can tell us where Thara is. Thara? Thara? What gives you the idea he can be any more help than me? Oh, very well. Maybe you can help. Yeah, sure. Go ahead. We just stumbled across strangers, men in the high country. Yeah, so what? They'd probably just come up for a nature walk or something. Nature walk? With a rifle? Didn't you hear those shots being fired? Shots? <laughs> oh, I heard a few thunder cracks in the distance. <laughs> what an imagination you have, Mrs. Dingo. It's obviously just a storm on the way. <laughs> this way! Oh, no! What the? What's wrong with the? Oh! Ah. Damn! Got clean away. Yeah, and you scared off those dingoes, did I, Dick? How about putting that gun away and giving me a hand to lay a few traps? Maybe that way we'll make some money this trip. Definitely men. I'm sure they're men. No doubt about it, men. Quite right, eh? Well spotted. Where'd he go? Not to trouble, I'll be bound. He is the man after all. I think we have mutually established that new. Um, should we do something? Did you have anything in mind? We could warn the others. We could, but then we might have to come back, and coming back... Might mean danger. Best not to get involved. Ignore them, and they'll go away. Shall we? Sire! 
Sire! What's all the excitement, Karawang? Men, your monument has magnificence. In the high country. What? Where? Is it another Brumby roundup? No, sire. But they're up to no good. They took a few pot shots at Al. Shooters. Did they get him? Not this time, sire. <laughs> I've never seen that imbecile move so fast. Faster than a speeding arrow, in fact. This is serious, Karawang. I want you to get straight back. Stick close and follow their movements. But a uh, elegant emperor, they're inclined to shoot anything that moves. So? Well, uh, it uh, may be dangerous. <laughs> all right, all right, your worshipfulness. I'm going. I'm going. <laughs> Just listen to that record. I'll take care of them. Wonder what's troubling the gang gangs? They're probably just spreading the latest gossip. You know what chatterboxes they are. No, there's something more. Listen to their cries. Mopoke, mopoke. <coughs> just because they're sounding furious doesn't mean you must be curious. Hello, mopoke. Mopoke, mopoke. Do you know what's troubling them, mopoke? Never a thief and not a vandal. I don't breathe a word of scandal. <laughs> That's a lot of help. Thanks. I think I might see what the matter is. Coming. Squawking gang gangs are all very well, but I think I'll just rest a spell. <sighs> oh, I've been around long enough to know that's not normal gang gang gossip. Reckon it sounds like trouble. And when there's trouble in the high country, it's usually men that cause it. Someone's up to no good. I can feel it. Damn trappers. After dingoes for the bounty reward. Mm. Well... We'll see about that. There'll be a lot more of these traps round here. Quite right, Whipbird. Now, uh, what can I do for you? You can tell me where I'll find Thora. <laughs> <laughs> ah, there he is. There's trouble, mighty son of Yaraman. Benny's 
wife Silky is trying to find you. She is very upset and needs your help. You must follow me immediately. Silky is heading towards us. She's nearing the plateau. Silky, what's the trouble? I'm not sure there's anything you can do, Thara, but we didn't know who to turn to. But what's happened? Where's Benny? It's our daughter. She's caught in a trap. I've never seen anything like it. Her leg is torn and bleeding. Benny's waiting Don't there. Don't talk. Just, just show us the way, Silky. Good luck and be careful. Thanks, Whitbird. Right here. I, I don't understand. See, this is where the trap was with our, our Joey caught in it. Oh, Thara, I'm really worried now. What can have happened to them both? Don't worry, Silky. We'll find them. Where's he off to? Gonna be all right, little one. Oh, we'll get you fixed up, good as new. Always trouble when men come to the high country. Now that bandage will help make your leg good as new. Another man? I can't believe it, Benny. You seem very calm when your daughter's in great danger. She's in no danger, Thara. No danger? Our mortal enemy man has captured her. How can you say no danger? You'll never get her back. It's the mark of a wise animal to know when to trust Thara. Never forget that. The children Boon Boon found in the snow, they trusted you and you led them to safety. But that was different. This man set a trap for your daughter. Not this man. He's like one of us. Well, then how come he has her captive? <sighs> When Silky went to find you, I realized that no matter how strong and clever you are, Thara, there was nothing you could do to help. The trap was set by man, and my daughter would have to be freed by a man. This old man's been in the high country almost as long as I have. Well, I've never seen him. He keeps to himself and lives a quiet life, at one with the country and the creatures. He knows the bush and senses it, just like we do. Hmm, something's wrong, isn't it, eh? Want me to come with you, do you? Okay, okay, I'm coming. He sensed that I needed help and followed me. into the high country and hurt the creatures that live here. He seemed very angry with the men who laid the trap, but very gentle with my daughter. <laughs> dear, dear little one. Perhaps if all men were like this one, we might learn to live in peace with them. I still don't trust any grown man, Benny. I think your instincts may be right, Benny. He seems very gentle with her. This man is almost like one of us. He won't want to keep our daughter. Be ready to move, Boon Boon. I sense danger. <laughs> Don't worry, you two. I'll take good care of her. Won't be long before she's back with you. And if those blasted trappers dare show their faces round here, they'll be sorry they ever disturbed the peace of the high country, I can tell you. Benny, are you sure you're doing the right thing? Stop worrying, Thara. She's my daughter and I'm not worried. Now let's see if we can find the rest of those traps. Gang, gangs. 
Thank you. Mm. <laughs> Mopoke, Mopoke. If you want the trap to go, you'll have to find something to throw. Just look at that. Not a single hit. Uh-oh. Run for it. Couldn't hit the broadside of a barn. If the first attempt you missed, you may succeed if you persist. Oof. Ouch! <laughs> <laughs> hmm. I've got an idea. <laughs> no, no, no! You heard me, I said no! Please, Wombat. It could be one of your children that gets caught next. Ah, oh, black. That's all I ever get from you, Farrah. Now, Wombat, that's not true. Every time there's a calamity in the high country, straight to Wombat. <laughs> Wake him up. Do I ever get any thanks? No. Does anyone ever say, brave Wombat? Bold Wombat. He, he's such a treasure, that Wombat. No. Nothing. Never. Well, I won't do it. I've had enough. I won't do it. A little more to the left. Don't you kid ever listen? Yeah, that's better. Now you're getting the hang of it. Now, push. Oh, oh typical. Try to help my get a sore head. Wombat, look out! I know what I'm doing, thank you, Farah. Now, for the grand finale. Well done, Wombats. Oh, thank you, Wombats. What will we do without you, Wombat? Yes, well, you are, of course, most welcome. Our pleasure to help. Now, goodbye. Brave, bold, heroic wombat. Wait. Huh? <coughs> what? Wonderful wombat. There are more of them. More. I don't think they're very happy, Mew. Mm, indubitably. Disgruntled, I would venture. Annoyed and frustrated even, wouldn't you say, Mew? Mm, raging anger and raving madly. Someone's going to get hurt. We'd better warn everyone. That we have, and very quickly. <laughs> Angry men? Mm, yes, angry and nasty. Furious that their traps have been sprung? Mm, yes, kicking and shouting and about to cause trouble. Heading towards the old prospector's creek. Furious and up to no good. We have to do something. Right, why, Sarah? Up and Adam, prepare for attack. Yes, let's go. Attack! attack. Hold on, you two. We need a plan. Just what I was going to say. Mm, me too. What do you think we should do, Thara? Bless you, little one. 
Are you comfortable? There you are, you interfering old fool! I'll teach you to poke your nose into our business. Good afternoon, oh Imperial Excellency. I trust you had a pleasant day. Enough chatter, Karawong. What news of the men? Ah, uh, uh, yes, the men. I can quite honestly say, sire, without any fear of contradiction, that I have seen no sign of them whatsoever. Uh, so, we can assume then that they are nowhere in the high country. Well, uh... That could be assumed, I suppose, sire. Yes, that is an assumption that one could make. Huh? Ha. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh. Oh. Well, maybe they've learnt their lesson. Hmm. Maybe you have too, Zara. Huh? Look, down there. Not all men are cruel hunters. Well, now I've seen it all, eh, little one? They won't be back in a hurry. But man continued to come to the high country. Some were cruel, some were kind. Some blended in and became as much a part of the Alps as the other creatures. And as the creatures helped one another, the time would come when they helped man too. <laughs> <laughs>